It may not line up quite perfectly, but we'll live with it. It's, oh, where'd that thing go? Where'd it go? Did it, like... We might... Uh-oh. We might be in trouble. We need that thing. Where Hello it? and welcome, everybody. Today we're going to be playing Woodwork Simulator, which is a game available for free on the itch.io. I'll have a link in the description for you guys. It's a... Uh, it's basically a working prototype just to, you know, let people play with, you know, this thing they made to see, you know, if they want to continue going on with it and if they want to make something of it, is my assumption. So uh, let's hop right into it. And uh, I think we're going to go with the easy thing to build here because, well, <laughs> because I am not a pro at this game whatsoever. I, I play with it a little bit to try to get an idea of what I'm doing, but I don't have an idea of what I'm doing. We're we're already doomed. Let's uh let's have a quick little look around see what we can see. There's stuff on the board there, but we can't read it. We have a, a lunch bag. We can't do anything with apparently. Can we sit down? All right, we, we can have a nice seat within the chair here. That's nice. But uh, can I get out of the chair now? Hello, I'm stuck. How are we not allowed out of the chair? I may have broke the game. We might have to start over here. Oh, we hit escape. Okay, that was. <laughs> that was a little frightening. It's like I broke the game in the first, like, you know, two seconds of playing it. I look outside. looks pretty nice. I like the uh, trees and the breeze here. The, uh, I don't know. Maybe, maybe at some point we'll be able to go outside. I, ha uh, I have tried the, the door before, and it won't actually let you go outside, unfortunately. I also tried, you know, clicking the light off, but apparently we have to have the lights on. That's all there is to it. All right, so... Uh, all right, enough goofing around. We have a desk over there. This is a little mini tutorial hints thing we can look at. And I'll probably have to refer to it later because I am not going to remember what I'm doing here. Like I said, I only played for like two minutes to get the barest of their idea of what I'm doing. And uh, let's pick up this thing here. And we'll put it in the... See, hit R to see through things. That does not seem actually helpful at the moment. Okay, play, place it in the vice. And we'll... Can we... Okay, that's how you twist it. We don't want to do that. Can we move it up? There we go. And let's let's put it so that the part we're going to cut is there-ish. That way we can uh, keep cutting without worrying about repositioning everything. All right, let's get up out of that and escape. Let's, uh, let's move this thing out of the way. And just because we can, let's do crazy physics with it. All right, throw it over there. I kind of don't want it there. All right, let's actually just pick it up. You know, we don't have to be child <laughs> childish about everything, I, I guess. We have to have to be. Alright. No, alright. I hit a, I went a little escape crazy and but things worked out. So we'll leave that in a lathe. We're gonna need to use that later. And that's a little fun to play with too. I actually had a, a fair amount of fun playing with the lathe earlier before. But let's get to work. So starting off we have to cut out the template pieces. Since this is the um, you know, like the easy, you know, tutorial um, thing. You know, they gave us a little template we can cut out and try to figure out what it is that we're doing here. All right, so we click on that. I don't, I don't need to look at you. And we'll try to. I want to go sideways. There we go. And we'll just cut across the whole thing. Try to, you know, make as few cuts for ourselves as we can manage. All right, that's good. Me out of that. I'll cut here too. Can I go sideways? There we go. There we go. I may not have lined it up perfectly, but uh, we'll see. It doesn't have to be perfect, and we are definitely going to fall sort of perfect, so we'll, we'll just have to deal with it, people. We'll just deal. But I do think it's kind of interesting how they, uh, how they have the uh, meth mesh deformation in this game. Is uh, You know, everything is changing while you're uh, playing with it. Can I cut here? Maybe? I don't know. It's a little bit wonky. Alright, there we go. Seems to be working. We have to be careful so we don't cut into the next board. Alright, let's try it again. So, uh, the controls, I'll be honest with you guys, the controls are a little wonky. Things don't quite work the way you wish they would. Uh, they, can, um, they can jump around the screen a little bit. Like, I'm barely moving things at all and this thing moves like a mile across the screen. But, you know, we'll get things figured out. We'll get through it. Alright, those are two pieces done. Let me uh, 
we put our pieces somewhere safer, I guess. That magically stayed on there. I'll take it. I don't like it hanging off. It's just one of those things. All right, let's keep going. Uh, next, let's uh, let's work on these pieces up here. Let's get rid of the. Uh, I have to click it first. There we go. Let me go to the side. Come on. Yeah, you can do it. There we go. And we'll get rid of this little uh, border area on the bottom here. I've always actually wanted to get into carpentry, but I've never really done much with it. Like I've done like little projects, but I, I'm pretty sure that I would fail horribly at making a birdhouse. So maybe I'll learn something here and put it to use at some point. But it's nice to be able to uh, get the sense of like you've done something like this without actually having done it. That's kind of the whole point in games, right? You feel like you've done something, you've been some kind of superhero, but you don't have to actually, you know, go out and die. So there we go. Keep chopping along here. I may have missed the mark a little bit on that one, but I think we'll just have to live with it. Because, uh, I doubt I could do much better, honestly. And we're going. And cool thing about this game, like you see I'm sawing out here, and this is all one piece, you know, obviously, and, uh, you know, it, it, you know, comes off in pieces, and I don't know, you know, how much you know about game design and stuff. That's actually not as easy as you would think to actually make that happen. There's a lot of work that goes into that, and I hope that only cut where I was clipping. I don't actually know. Oh no, it lost my place. Oh, that's unfortunate. Do I have to start again? I don't, yeah, that's a little funky now. Oh, I'm not happy that that happened. Right, maybe I can start over and go a little bit more to the side. I don't know. I'm very unhappy that it did that. Can I go here? All right. Starting the whole thing over again. That's another thing I don't, I'm not really liking about this version of the game so far. Is that uh, it's hard to pick up a cut where you left off. Right, let me get out of here and back up for a second here. Because we accidentally... Oh, did we, did we cut through things we're not supposed to cut through? Alright, I think I can hit Z and things magically fix themselves. Keep hitting Z until things... That's another thing I should probably mention. Uh, you know, I think the game realizes that you're going to make mistakes. And uh, unlike the real world, you can hit Z and things magically fix themselves. And thank goodness, because I obviously really need it quite often. It's just something, you know, you end up doing a lot... When you work in text documents, you know, you make a mistake, control Z, everything goes back to the way it was before, no harm, no foul. And uh, in the real life, obviously, that's not how things work when you're working with things like this. I want to get that little border off, but apparently I can't right now, so I'm going to just move this out the way for now. And hopefully I can put this in the vise. Click on there. Spin it around a little bit. Can I move it up? All right, I think I'll be able to cut it right there. So back out of that. Pick up my trusty saw and let's go at it again and uh, R so we can see through the saw because it's blocking our way a little bit there we go we get rid of this little area here something very zen like about doing this it's like a very simple thing to do but it's like just going through the process of doing it actually feels pretty calming all right hit exit to get out of that ah wrong click Right click this to pick up the board or I'll I'll mess up everything. Everything's going wrong. Okay, there we go. We right click the uh, the board or bring it out over here. And uh, what's this thing here? Is this another one just like it? Let me look at the other side of it. Whoops. I meant to do that. Are they you use Q by the way to uh, move things around in wacky physics mode. That seems to be cut out properly, so uh, we'll put this over near the other stuff. Alright, pick up our saw, put it on the table here, see if we can be a little bit cleaner. All that stuff on the floor there is going to drive me a little crazy, but I don't think we have an official, like, garbage bin or something to put things in. Oh wait, we do! Alright, I'm going to do one just to test and see if it works. Like, do we get cookies from putting in the garbage? It doesn't even, like, drop in the garbage properly. That's a little weird. Okay, we won't clean up our uh, things simply because it doesn't drop in the garbage properly. And God forbid. There we go. Rotate it around. Oh, this is wonky. We scroll wheel back a little bit. This is super wonky. All right, put you in like that. There we go. 
and escape out. There we go. All right, time for more song. Uh, well, let's just keep working on the easier stuff. Let's get this thing off the side here. Get rid of all this border stuff. And we can just saw all the way through right here. And that'll be nice and simple. All right, that's gone. And now we can saw all the way across the top. And it looks like it'll be about the right height for the uh, the top of the roof. And we might have to cut off a little bit more for things to line up properly, but we'll see. I don't think it'll cut through at any rate. Yeah, that, that cuts just about perfect, I think. I'm happy with that. Okay. Ah, what'd I do? Everything's weird. Oh, okay. That's part of the... Uh, Let's see if I can move that thing out the way. There we go. I just use Q to grab it and uh, move it to the side. All right, let's do a little bit more cutting. Get rid of this uh, bottom border here. Like I said, there's something very zen-like about this. Just, I don't know if it's like this in real life. It's probably not. <laughs> I mean, I've cut wood by hand before, and it's not... Not zen so much as it is tiring and frustrating. But uh, we don't have a power saw or anything in this game, as far as I know. Not that I've seen, anyway. Go over there. All right, we'll, we'll, we'll clean that up later. And we'll go through this one right here. Ah, I missed it by just a little bit. I'm not happy with it. Oh, there we go. We'll saw from right here. God forbid we have any little tiny bit of the border showing. I will. I forbid for such a thing to happen. I love the sound of things falling too. I don't know. It's just fun. I might have cut that one a little bit too close, but oh well. It may not line up quite perfectly, but we'll live with it. It's, oh, where'd that thing go? Where'd it go? Did it like? We might. Uh oh. We might be in trouble. We need that thing. Where did it go? I don't even know what it was anymore. It was, it was a board of some sort. I, I don't know. We might be in trouble, guys. We'll, we'll see if whatever that was was important. Because I, I didn't see where it flew. If it didn't fly anywhere. Maybe it'll be clear in the video afterwards. But I have no idea where it went. Last I saw, it was like I was looking somewhere around there. I don't know if it like glitched through the wall or something. I have no idea. Let's continue on for now. Let's see here. Let's start at the, uh, the steeple area here. I don't know why I call it steeple. <laughs> I was just going to a church in my head, I guess. And yeah, as you can see, we can cut through corners, but only when you're at a place that's like supposed to be a corner, I guess. Get rid of that thing. I keep hitting buttons and uh, I'm clicking things accidentally. Alright, let's try this one again. There we go. Cut that out. And we'll get rid of that thing. Maybe it went to the ceiling. I don't know. We'll look at it later. I'm still wondering where that piece went. You know, it's a little bit weird. Just a little bit. Right, we'll cut down from here. And not too deep. I keep dropping my saw. I can't. I don't. I think I just right click instinctually to get out of things, and that is apparently not what you do in this game. Alright, cut here. Yeah, I think you just said escape to get out of things in this game, and I'm just. Being silly about it. Uh -uh. Let me let me cut the way I want to. There we go. And we'll cut across. And that wasn't so bad at all. And we'll keep going. I don't know where the first sound went when we went into that, but apparently we cut silently like a ninja for a second there. <laughs> so I won't complain about. The interesting bit is when you get to uh, trying to cut out these holes, because I tell you, I had a lot of trouble getting those to work qu quite the way you want them to. It's, uh, it's very difficult, to be quite honest. And we're just about done getting the template going, and then things will get more interesting. I don't know, uh, I'll be honest with you, I don't know how much of this we're actually going to keep. How fun is it to watch somebody cut through wood? I don't know. We'll find out. All right, we're done with that. Let's uh, drop the saw. Grab this thing. Can I grab this thing? Do I have to get out? Probably have to get out. Now let's just move this thing over here. That'll be our scrap wood area. 
All right, let's move this over to our working area. Gonna get ourselves some nice space over here. Oh, maybe this is the board piece I was missing before. Hopefully. I'd be really sad if we just like can't complete this thing. Let me move this stuff out of the way. Putting things in the garbage. Well, I tried. If it actually satisfyingly went into the garbage and like went down to the bottom and you hear thumps and stuff, I'd probably go a little bit anal putting everything in there. But at this point, you can't. So, leaning against the wall or something. And maybe we can just throw this stuff over there. Go over there. Ugh. Okay. That doesn't throw as nicely as I was hoping it would. Alright, so now we have a bunch of stuff here. And, uh... Let me see, I think this this one I think we have to drill all the way through for. So let's get our little drill thingy. There we go. And uh, we're going to drill through this and probably into the table. <laughs> but I don't think they'll let us do that, but it'd be fun. You know, you pick it up afterwards, and like, oh, there's a hole in my table now. Wonderful. All right, let's start there and just drill all the way through here. There we go. And I assume that's everything. It's good. Shake it around to this stuff, get that the way. And we'll just, uh, I don't know, we'll try to make it roughly the right shape. I can't promise it'll come out, you know, perfect. But, you know, this isn't about being perfect. Uh, at least not when I'm doing it. Alright, this is, this is the point where you'll see the controls are a little bit wonky and you can't quite get things to act the way you want it to. Like, I don't want to drill sideways, but it definitely wants me to. Let me move this back over here. Is that okay? Can I see through that? All right, that front text that pops up when I go into x-ray mode, I could do without. Let me uh, get rid of that there. And can I do over here a little bit? Maybe. Like, I want to get rid of this stuff, but I don't want to go too far past the deep, you know, the, the uh, darkened area. And I think maybe for the rest of this, we'll go to that scraping there, is uh, we'll just go to the, um, get rid of that. We'll go to the chisel, which is right here, as soon as I can click it. There we go. And we'll, we'll try to just notch away at it until we can uh, go away. I'm, 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 I'm an expert. I totally know what I'm doing. And it's not weird or anything at all. Okay. We'll go to the chisel, and we'll just see if we can notch it into how it's supposed to be. Ah! We'll hit that Z button to make everything magically okay again. Get rid of that stuff. Okay. And this is, I'm not going to lie to you, it's a little bit awkward. But we'll get through it, guys. We will persevere. Actually, I didn't know before that you could just hold down the button. And it would keep, you know, keep going all the way down to the bottom. I would have so many misclicks where I accidentally, like, got down to one layer, then started another layer somewhere else. And, uh, so pro tip, hold down the button. It'll keep down in the same path make things a lot easier something I wish I had known before now but now I know and I'm sharing the knowledge with you guys and you may say to yourself well imposter bum this doesn't look like a circle at all and I would say to you you are very observant <laughs> it most definitely does not but uh, you know this game is free so you can try it for yourself and if you do you will realize that creating something as simple as like a circle is the hardest thing you could possibly do in this game because it is just wonky it, you know nothing works quite the way you think it would uh but that's part of the fun i think so it gives it a little bit like a surgeon simulator kind of feel maybe where you know you have you have fairly simple tasks you're supposed to do but you know making that happen is harder than you would think and uh, I think that's good enough hole, actually, if I'm, if I'm being honest. That is about as good as I am ever going to get that. So let's put this over here. And we have some more drilling to do. Uh, what's this one? I think well, neither of these do I have to go through all the way. But I still want to use the drill to, like, partially get going, I think. Let's click into this. And I think, hopefully, it won't go all the way through. And if it does, we'll just... Uh, go back and make it you know not be bad hopefully yeah this one knows it's like you know you're only supposed to go so far with it so i think we'll get uh oh i might just i might i might have messed up let's see that one uh, it's just a little bit wonky i'm trying to get it so that we can do less with the um 
with the chisel because it's a little bit harder to deal with, quite honestly. So if I can make it so like almost everything is done for us with the drill, uh, you know, I'll do that if I can. Uh, there we go. And I think this is going to be the base that sits on the floor that the pole will go into so that the, you know, the birdhouse can stand up. It's either that or the floor of the birdhouse. Uh, I'm not really sure which. We might have to consult the trusty manual uh, when we get done. You know, I'm, I'm like, uh, well, very much like most men, I, I don't look at the directions until I'm hopefully lost. <laughs> uh oh. I actually kind of did what I wanted it to do, but I don't want it to do that. Because that's not what I intended. Alright. That's kind of good enough. We'll get the uh, chisel out and see if we can make that, you know, line up a little bit better. This is a little bit wonky, you know. It's not quite what we want. Let's move that thing out the way. Go over there. Alright, time to chisel again. We'll zoom in here. It's nice that you can zoom in, like, a fair bit. So you actually see what you're doing. And we'll know that two clicks brings us down to the right level we want here. Alright, keep going. And we'll just shake the board about until all the pieces get out of the way. It's not so bad. I like just having to do the edges with the chisel. Because it's a whole lot less work, I feel. Whoops, I grabbed the uh, well refuse itself. Right, let's keep going. I can't, you know, it's, it's a little wonky to get things lined up so you can see everything properly. That's another thing I hope if they go through to make this like a complete game to do something about the controls. Because it doesn't feel quite right. It's something wonky about it. But as a proof of concept, I think it's fun. You know, I, I like being able to do this. I always thought I always think it's fun to work with a mesh deformation. It's whereas, you know, you know, and this is an obvious case of that for woodworking, but I th thought it'd be cool to have like a like a legit blacksmithing game where you like, you know, hammer the metal into, uh, you know, into swords or whatever yourself. Did I just, hold on, I made a mess that up right there. Yeah, I, I apparently made a notch here where I didn't want it. You know, have something where like, you know, you know, the metal has to be warm for you to hammer it and uh, you know, the cooler it is, the less you deform stuff. Something like that, anyway. It might, it might be a prototype. I myself put together at some point. We'll see. Um, I want to get these little notches on the ends here a little bit further knocked out of the way. I don't like them there. You know, it doesn't look it doesn't look pleasing to the eye, and it's bothering me. But as you can see, like I'm just barely moving this chisel, and it it is going all over the place, super wonky. So we might just have to live with the uh, extremely small imperfections here. Because cleaning them up is quite difficult. Alright, well that is probably the best circle that I have ever chiseled in this game by like a mile. Not that I have done very much in this game, to be quite honest with you. But I'm surprised at how well that went, I'll be honest. Alright, do we have to do anything with this board? Apparently not. Nothing on that board. I want to say there's another board we have to chisel, but I, I don't know. I feel like we are definitely missing a board. I feel like something is amiss here. Did I drop something on the floor? Is there a board under this book? I can't move the book, apparently. That book is uh, not very helpful. <laughs> if now I'm being honest and looking at it. Because there should be a board that goes on the floor. And there should be another board that's the bottom of the of the uh, of the birdhouse that the uh, the lathe piece goes into, but I'm not I'm not seeing it. Did I, did I throw something out? Maybe it's that piece that got thrown across the room or something that we never found. Is it like over here somewhere? I just remember we're playing with it, and it's just like uh, when we're cutting things out, we move stuff and. Something disappeared, and I don't know where it went. And I'm thinking we may not be able to finish our birdhouse as a result. I hope that's not the case, but I'm fairly certain we're missing something here. I look under this one. There should be another board we have to cut something out of. 
I don't know. We're, we're just, we might have a birdhouse missing a wall or something. It's, it's very possible that it's going to happen. Anyway, for now, let's work on the lathe because this is kind of fun, actually. Um, click. I don't want to do anything here. I like it where it is. How do I start, like, lathing? There we go. And apparently we just have to bring it down to size, so... Change depth and tilt. It's a little bit wonky. It's a little bit... Like a real lathe, I think, that you can shape things a little bit. But I don't think... Um, you know, obviously it quite works the same. Like, I have it set to be at the same depth right now. But for some reason, this stuff on the side isn't going down very much. So let's see if we can make a couple of uh, valleys here. And then we'll just go like this and get them to all mash out. Wow, that worked out pretty good. <laughs> all right. And this one, you're supposed to just make it, you know, like a plain uh, post. You're not supposed to do anything special with it. So I'm just trying to bring everything down to roughly the same level. And there's a little bit of unevenness going on apparently it looks like. Uh, is everything even now? Hopefully? I don't know. Should be. And I, I, I think we're supposed to cut it off the end, maybe. There we go. That's done there. I'll do that over here. All right, I think that's what we're supposed to do. But if it isn't, too late now. <laughs> I don't know, if can we actually see that? We can, and I kind of wish I didn't now. Oh, we're gonna have to redo it. I guess that would be quite interesting for them to have to fix. All right, now I, I feel like a bit of an idiot for having us redo that now. Okay, fix the thing. That looks right. And use the chisel again. Yeah, I'm I'm a I'm a bit of a doofus for doing that. I, sometimes I just get curious: Can I do this? Should I do this? So apparently you should not do it. It's a dumb thing to do, but you can. All right, let's uh, get this going again. Why is it red? It wasn't red before. It seems rather upset about something. I, I don't really know what's going on. I'm confused. Let's keep going. I don't like the angle of it very much either. Everything looks wonky. I, I might have broken the game somehow. It may have happened. All right, let's do the thing. Same thing we did last time. We'll just shake it all about. There we go. Can we cut out the bottom at all? I mean, it looks weird there. There we go. Let's shake it all about. Let's create another little valley over there. Little valley there. Over here. And let's see if we can trim off a bunch of stuff. No, it doesn't feel... I definitely feel like I goofed up a little bit. Maybe it, it bugged out a little bit after uh, going back. Because it doesn't feel quite the same to me as it did before. Things feel a little bit wonkier. Maybe it's all in my head. I mean, I really don't know. And uh, the camera is another thing in this game I think they really need to work on. It's a little bit wonky. All right, is everything roughly even? Hopefully. All right, let's cut through. Cut it off the lathe here. All right, it should be cut through. Oh, well, I meant to cut it off over there too, but maybe we don't have to. All right, let's get out of here. Pick up our piece. I really don't know if this will fit properly. It looks, it looks pretty darn wonky, if I'm being honest. I don't think it's actually the right shape. It looks, yeah, I don't think we cut near enough of that off. I, I don't, I don't know why. All right, let's go back to the drawing board here. I don't know why it didn't work properly. Like I said, I think I totally broke things by doing what I did, which is uh, wonderful. We'll take more off of it this time because uh, it was still a little bit too squared to be a proper post. So let's just keep going. Let's shake it all about. See if we can get it all rounded up. 
And uh, this is apparently uh, CPU intensive because it does seem to lag out a little bit while we're doing things here. And it, it makes sense that it would be to do, you know, live uh, mesh deformation like this. But uh, to find some sort of way to smooth that out would be great. Or if they could even, I don't know, if you could choose to just say, okay, make this, make this a cylinder for me. That way you didn't have to sit here and lag out this whole time when you just want something super simple. All right, let's see if we can uh, cut it off the board now, maybe. Or maybe we don't have to, I don't know. I think we're supposed to, though. Go down? Do you not want to go down anymore? Yeah, I'm done. We're done. This is... That's it. Go, get off the lathe. I'm done with you. All right. Ah, wrong button. All right, that's our post. It looks like a post to me. I think we'll wrap it up here for now, guys. I don't want this video to run on forever. Uh, we'll pick this up next time. And uh, if you guys like it enough, you know, we'll keep going with it. Maybe we'll do another project. Who knows? So uh, let me know what you guys think. Leave a like if you liked it. Subscribe if you're new here. And uh, let me know what you guys think in the comments down below. All right. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.